How do you explain it? It's one of those baseball things. Tito was saying that um, in the past you have struggled coming right out of the break. Was that kind of the case tonight? Just tried to talk about you being a creature of habit, things like that. No. Um, I felt like I was actually pretty good tonight. Um, which is unlike me for coming out of the break. I think two years ago I went two thirds of an inning and gave up five at Oakland. And last year I went like a two and a third and gave up five at Texas. And the ones before that didn't go well either. Um, so actually, you know, relative to what I usually feel like, I felt like I was able to command the ball decently well. Um, thought I pitched pretty well overall, but just a microcosm of today's baseball. You know, true outcomes, walks, homers, and strikeouts. And yeah, they came out on top of that one tonight. In terms of like trying to attack Kepler when you're in a situation like this, do you at a certain point you almost like throw your hands up in terms of like the scouting report and what you're trying to do, or do you try to lean on those things even more during stretch like this? Situations like that, like there's nothing I'm gonna really be able to do. Like he's just locked in against me for whatever reason. Um, I mean, last game he hit a uh, change up a slider and a fastball. Today he hit a curveball and a fastball. Like, they weren't great pitches, obviously, but the change up and the slider last game were in areas that shouldn't get hit that, that well. And the curveball today was in an area that generally doesn't get hit that well, um, especially my curveball. It hardly ever leaves the yard. The ball's away from him on the outer third of the plate um, in a pitcher advantage count. So just one of those things, like like I said, it's just a baseball thing. Sometimes, you know, guys are just hot, and it doesn't really matter what you do to them, they're going to hit it. And he's hot off me right now. Won't be that way forever. He'll cool down. He'll go through 0 for 10 with seven punch outs or whatever, too, uh, and miss pitches that he normally crushes. And it's just, you know, one of those things right now. Fortunately, there was no one on base this time. Um, I think last time he beat us because he had some with, I think he had a three-run homer, two-run homer, something like that, with multiple guys on. So um, generally, solo homers don't beat you, and tonight they did.